So it's going to be a hot afternoon. It, temperatures this morning will be in the it looks like 60s and 70s, but look at the warm up. Today is going to be likely one of the hottest days of the week will be well into the 90s. So you've got a pretty hot biking forecast. Get out early this morning. Not only do we have the heat, we also have again the haze. We're under another ozone action day alert until at least four o'clock. There will be a better chance for some storms tomorrow. If we see anything today, it's going to be pretty isolated. Tomorrow, a better chance you're going to get some rain, lightning and thunder. And then on Thursday, temperatures dropping into the 70s. We're going to see some areas in the in the mountains that drop down into the 50s and 60s with this next front approaching. Again, here's a look at some of those air quality alerts covering the northern front range today. Right now, we're in the mid to upper 60s, a hazy sky out there, winds out of the south at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. You're at 71 right around the Chatfield Reservoir. Broomfield right now, 63. Centennial currently 62 and more 40s for the mountains. Statewide skies are pretty clear as far as any storms go or any rain. We will see a few more pop up this afternoon, mainly west, and you'll see that here on Futurecast. From 60s early on to right around 75 degrees by 930 this morning. It's going to be pretty warm early on. We'll still be under clear skies through lunchtime. That's right around 12 o'clock when we're in the upper 80s, close to 90 by that point. And then we'll hit highs right around 90 to near 95. Now you'll notice an isolated storm or two rolling over. So you may see in a few spots some rain, lightning and thunder this afternoon. No real risk of any severe weather. And it's mainly going to be overall pretty dry for us today through the afternoon. Late tonight, we're back in the 70s. And then early tomorrow, 60s and 70s to kick off our Wednesday. Now by tomorrow, afternoon we're going to be tracking a cold front racing in from the west it's going to drop temperatures down in the mountains it's going to bring a much better chance for scattered storms and showers first in the high country tomorrow and then late day tomorrow we'll see those roll through so by commute time wednesday night Roads could get wet. We could see some localized flooding in spots and some pockets of much heavier rain. We'll take a closer look at the risk of any severe weather tomorrow coming up in just a bit. But look at how those numbers drop from 90s today and tomorrow to upper 70s to near 80 on Thursday. Yesterday I talked about how it might be a little hint of fall on Thursday. You're going to feel it, especially with that chance for more showers throughout the day. Then summer returns. Jason, by Friday we're back in the 80s and then low to mid 90s Saturday and Sunday.